It's Christmas Day, and we have a box of pens. And it's a style that I, that I don't usually get often. But um, the ones with the holes on the top, I uh, looked through the holes in this box. The only thing I saw was this Canadian right here, 1981. So I can see all these sides. Most of them look pretty shiny, so I don't know what I'm going to expect. But have not checked the other side. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, we have the other side open, and there's a 2009, that's the only thing I see right off the bat. Okay, nothing else. So, we got this one back, we're going to start on the first roll. We are three rolls in, we have our first wheat, right here, 1945 plane. Pretty nice, that's our first wheat. Uh, roll three, so we're not that far in. Uh, we're gonna go through the rest of these, see if there's anything else. Haven't re haven't looked through the roll, just poured it out, and that's what I saw. Yeah, nice 1972 with some color on it. Nice big rim around it. Might save that. We'll put that one to the side. Good amount of copper in these rolls. Didn't think I'd say that after seeing the ends with all the shiny ones, but most of them are copper, pre-1982. And I'm not seeing anything else. So I think that's it out of the third roll. On well, to the fourth roll. Just poured out this roll and I see another wheat and a Canadian right on top of it. Right here, we got a 1976 Canadian. So we'll put that over to the side. And the wheat is right here. 1956 Denver. So that's two wheats. Let's go through the rest of them. Quickly, just go over and see if there's anything. Oh, we got another wheat right here. Is that one? No, not 60. This one, nice reddish color to it. 1955 Plain. Wow, I don't find those that often. So that's three wheats out of that roll. Two wheats out of that roll, I mean, three wheats in total. Um, this, oh, here's another wheat, right here. Nice shiny 1957 Denver, wow. So three wheats out of that roll. So that's pretty cool, didn't expect that. So I always look over them a little bit more. Seeing what I'm seeing right now, don't see anything else, but I'll go look through these after. Okay. Next. Well, next roll, which is roll number seven, another wheat right here. Let's see what it is. 1940. I think there's a mint mark there. Take a closer look. Um, that looks like an S. 1940 S. So that's five wheats. And take a look through the rest of them. While we have them, well, another wheat, 1953 Denver. So that is six wheats. Doing a little bit better than my previous boxes. And any other notables in this roll? There's a, ooh, really nice 1972 Denver with a nice thick rim. Put that one next to the other 72 Denver. And nothing else. Go on to the next. Next roll, and I see 1956 Denver right there. So, means we got another wheat. And that makes seven already. Seven wheats on the eighth roll. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Anything else? Nice golden 66. But other than that, don't see anything else. So, let's get into the next one. 14 rolls in, and here's week number eight. Right on top, 1941 plane. Pretty cool, we got another Canadian a couple rolls back, a 1982. And let's check the rest of this roll. 
real quick. See if I see anything else in there, but looks like right now that's the only thing. So, that's the next row. 18 rolls in now, and there's another wheat. See what it is? 1953 Denver. So that is nine. And go through the rest of these ones right here. All the ones that didn't get knocked over when I poured them out, but nothing else is looking like a weed or anything that old. So, on to the next. Two rolls later, and you can see that nice, shiny 1956 Denver right there. So, we're gonna grab that one, take a look at it. Pretty nice. That's 10. And go through the rest. I like that there's been a few shiny ones, a few shiny wheats in this box. Haven't found some of those in a while, so good to see those. And nothing else. So, on to the next. Next roll, and I see another wheat right here. Nice dark colored one. Let's see what it is. 1944 plain. That's 11. And. We'll go through the rest of these. And nothing else. So, we're almost halfway through the box. This is roll 22. So, let's open it up. Just over halfway through the box. And there's another wheat. 1946 plane. So that's number 12. And let's check and see if there's anything else in here. Have not found a proof of any coin in quite a while. So pennies are my least likely to find proofs. So hoping to find another one soon. And not seen anything else in here. So roll number 28. We have 11 rolls left. And we got another wheat. This will make number 13. 1952 Denver. Nice little bit of color left. And we did get a little bit more Canadians, a couple 2000s, uh, 1994, and a 1965, and I think that 84 too. Got a really nice, shiny 1963 with some color, and this 72 Denver, a little off-center. And this one, it's a 70s, but it's super worn. Maybe a pocket coin, that's really cool. I like the really beat-up look to it. So I'll save that one. And we'll go ahead look through the rest of these while we can nothing else so roll number 40 let's open it up two rolls later another wheat number 14 and it's a 1951 denver put that right there there's a nice shiny 2009 um i'd probably save that if i didn't have a couple thousand of them already so that one will go back into circulation and nothing else in that roll. So, on to the next. Well, there's only one roll left, so might as well do that one live. See if we can find anything. No enders. It's not the 1981 uh, that I saw earlier. Opened that one, I think, four rolls ago. And that was the only thing in there. So we're going to go ahead and tear it open. Okay. And I see a wheat. Right here. 1944 Denver. That's 15 wheats. Pretty sure. Pick up all the rest of these. And don't see anything else in that roll. So we're gonna go right into the the wrap up. We're gonna start off with our nice shiny ones we got 72 denver off center nice 63 with some toning 72 denver a little off center and a 72 
uh, with a really thick rim around all the all around it. Uh, we had this nice seventies, really worn pocket coin. Uh, pretty cool. It's got some gouges in it. Save that one. And then for the Canadians, we had uh, ninety four. An 84, a 65, an 82, a 76, a 2000, a 81, and a 2000. So, eight Canadians. And then for the wheats, let's go ahead and put them on here. We had a 56 Denver, a 51 Denver, a 44 Denver, a 56 Denver, 52 Denver, 40 S. 57 Denver, a 44 Plane, a 41 Plane, a 53 Denver, a 55 Plane, a 56 Denver, a 45 Plane, a 46 Plane, and a 53 Denver, 52 Denver actually. So all this wheat was a 1940S, and we didn't get any 58s, and it was a 57. So Pretty good box out of, the, out of $25. 15 wheats, 8 Canadians, and a couple others. Pretty good. Average usually is 10, so a little over average. Um, that's pretty good. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.